There's a lot of different theories and conjecture as far as why are we seeing a resurgence in these sexually transmitted infections. Um, and different things have been postulated. One of the things that certainly has changed is some of these social media apps and things like that, where it's now much easier for uh, people who wish to engage in high-risk sexual activity with multiple sex partners to find other people who are interested in engaging in high-risk sexual activity with multiple sex partners in real time. Uh, and so some of these apps have been thought to contribute, and, and some studies have shown actually to contribute to rises in sexually transmitted infections. From an individual, it's important that they you know, try to engage in safe sex practices, be careful about their partners, but also uh, using barrier protection, so condoms. Um, and then if they develop symptoms, they should see a provider. For the large part, these sexually transmitted infections are treatable or at least manageable. We're talking about gonorrhea, chlamydia, or syphilis, these are curable. Uh, even things like HIV, uh, we now have very effective antiretroviral therapy, which can manage the, the infection, and so people are pretty much lead, leading normal lives. Right now, we don't have a cure. Um, but for the most part, these sexually transmitted infections can be either cured or dealt with. And so it's important that people seek um, treatment from their healthcare provider if they have any symptoms.